And uh, here we go. The last video, hopefully. Clear episodes 10 to 12. Raid mode stages 18 and 20. And bonus stage unlocked. Nice. Oh, no save? No option to save? What is this? We can finally reveal what happened to Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? After Morgan Lansdale's arrest, the FBC was dissolved with the majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. The BSAA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspices of the United Nations. And they're alive! <laughs> Keith Lumley is now a leading figure at BSAA's East African branch due to his accomplishments at Volkoinen Maki. Quint Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but he still works at the BSAA's main headquarters in the R&D department. Parker Luciani was found adrift to offshore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operations agent for BSAA's main headquarters. Clive R. O'Brien decided to take responsibilities for his actions and step down from his position as head of the BSAA. He is currently an advisor to the BSAA and is also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. As for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Well, that's it for the game. As I said previous session, I like this game a lot. It was good. You know, because this was made after Resi 5, you know, it still has a lot of that DNA that makes it an action game, but it does have some of the horror elements you would find in the earlier games. Some. Still, very good game. Now, I did say, like, a lot, there were some parts of the game that did get annoying, but, you know, a uh, a lot of that had to do with me. I know, I keep talking about this, but it, it, it's... This is always happening in a lot of my playthroughs. You know, I make some stupid decisions that, you know... That get, that, you know, that, that gets me all riled up because... Just, you know... Like that, like those... Like the two times I was going to that one area of the ship, you know, fighting off Rachel and several of the uh, oozes and stuff, you know, I just kept dying there over and over again, and you know that's my fault. 
Honestly, I get the feeling that's just going to keep happening in every other playthrough I do for any other game I decide to play. You know, just, 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 just how I am. But despite that, you know, I still get a lot of, a uh, lot of enjoyment out of the, out of the games I'm playing. This one is no exception. Story for the game was interesting. You know? It was very interesting. Gameplay. You know, it was uh, engaging. I can't believe I I found out about the the moving while aiming controls very late in the game. <laughs> I thought going for the classic control scheme would mean that I would only be standing as I aim, but nope. Nope. I could still move around. I just had to hit an extra button. <laughs> Ugh. Music. Oh, yeah. The Resident Evil games always have good music. Always do. <laughs> MT Framework. Oh yeah, that engine. I remember when that engine was pretty much being used by all the, but for all the Capcom games at the time. Story writers. Just cause. Capcom. Post credit scene. Oh boy. <laughs> Almost too easy, wasn't it? Jessica. The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. <laughs> Tough world. You file the report on this. And by the way, why save Parker? <laughs> I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. <laughs> Things could really heat up. Indeed, the fun's just getting started. They need to bring these two back. They're setting something up here that Capcom needs, you know, to build off of. That's the that's the T abyss virus right there. What is Jessica going to use it for? The dark forest. Clear casual difficulty or higher. The shores of purgatory. Got some parts charged. Shot three for campaign use. Clear, normal difficulty or higher. Hydra. Oh boy. Got A rank overall. Oh, congratulations. Now you can use this saved data to start a new game with all of your equipment intact. Would you like to save clear data? We strongly suggest you save it yourself. Oh yes. Now, I, did I get a B for uh, the Resi 4 remake? If, if so, I just beat. I just finally got my first save through the series. <laughs> and there we go. Episode one again. <laughs> Accuracy overall eighty three percent. A rank. Deaths twenty. Still an A, technically, I guess. <laughs> Clear time, 11 hours, 22 minutes, 14 seconds. Select outfit has been added to the campaign menu. Now you can choose a new outfit for your character. 
And what would that be? Ah, uh, there's Morgan. Well, not Morgan, sorry, uh, Jack. Claire. Okay. Raid mode. That's just a default uh, appearance. Clear bone stage ghost ship. For raid mode, of course. Huh. This has to be Quint here. Quint, Jessica, or possibly um, Raymond. I don't know. What happens if I hit new game? <laughs> okay, so going back to the first part, I thought this was Inferno, but it's not. I was too blind. I was. Uh, I can't read anything, so uh, I thought that uh, A was an O. It's Infernal. Casual. Normal. Infernal. I'm so stupid. <laughs> aye. Aye, aye. Huh. Start a new game with all your old weapons and equipment. That's not going to happen anytime soon, so... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the session, and all the sessions up to this point. Uh, I don't know, I keep saying it, but I did like this game a lot. And I hope I'm going to like the next one. <laughs> I'm taking a break from Resident Evil now, because, well, for one, the next one would be Resident Evil 5. And I'm not sure if... Uh, you know the friend that offered if he even if I, if, if I remember correctly if he did offer to do it with me you know play you know play through the entire game with me I doubt he has the game right now I don't even know if he has a PlayStation so if he does well you know I'm just gonna have to wait but until then I'm gonna be playing some other games you're gonna see what I'm playing next <laughs> uh, later today hopefully so, like, comment, and subscribe, and click on the bell icon for more notifications if that's what you want. It is Thursday, September 14th, 2023, 7.10 a.m. I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Later. <laughs>